What is up guys, my name is Pocketcraft, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get shiny Pokemon cards and the Pokemon TCG online game. And so getting shiny cards is super awesome, they're super rare, they're really fun to use in decks and to show off with, but they're a little bit tricky to get. So I'll share with you guys some of the best tips and tricks to get them. So the easiest way is actually going to be not even using the TCG online. So I'll talk about that and then I'll talk about the ways to do it within this game. And so if you buy normal Pokemon cards, that's probably the easiest way to do it because of a couple booster pack options like Shining Fates, Shining Legends. Ones like those have a lot more shiny Pokemon cards in them. And so you have a much higher chance of actually getting them. And so if you buy those packs in real life and you put the code into here, which you have to do through the Pokemon website using the same login, then you can get them pretty easily. However, that cause makes you have to use money outside of the game and so I don't personally don't like doing that. And so I'm just going to show you how I do it. And that shiny score bunny I showed is actually from that method. But that's just because I kind of got one as a gift from a booster pack I got as a gift in real life. And then I got in here. And in case you guys are wondering, the reason that I say you need to buy Shining Fates in person or Shining Legends in person and then use the code is because you cannot buy them in TCG Online. I don't know why they're not in the game. I really, really wish they were, but unfortunately they're not. But without further ado, I'll show you how to get the shiny ones in here and so every booster pack for the most part will have a couple shiny pokemon in them so chilling rain is the newest one i'll show you right here you go to preview possible cards just in case you guys don't know how to check that and then the shiny pokemon are always the very last ones so i'm going to scroll through here really quickly it'll take a while so i'll cut ahead and show you what they are so in chilling rain there's actually some three really really cool ones there's shiny electrode who looks like this shiny bronzong who looks like this and then shiny snorlax who looks like this the shiny Snorlax is probably my favorite. It looks awesome. And so, in all honesty, what you got to do is you got to pick which shiny Pokemon card you want. And I'll show you guys which one I'm going for in a second. And then you just need to get as many possible booster packs of that as you can and open them up. And then there's one other option as well. What you can also do is you can trade for them, right? And so I have a video showing how to trade. And so you can go back and look at that. I'll link it above if you haven't seen that. But you can trade with them. And then you just have to put up something really rare, hopefully, to get them. So, But it's probably not very likely that somebody's going to trade you for a shiny Pokemon card, unless maybe you're putting up a shiny, since they're so rare. But I'll show you kind of the way I like to go about it. And so the Chilling Rain ones are really cool, but I personally prefer to play with Legacy decks. I think they're a little bit more fun, uh, but that's just me. And so the one that I'm personally going for right now is actually in the Plasma Storm one. And so I'll cut to the end here and show you which ones I'm going for. So the reason I'm doing Plasma Storm is because I really, really want either a shiny Charizard or a shiny Blastoise. And those are the two that Plasma Storm has the shinies. And so I think that's super, super cool. I really want one. So that's what I'm going for. They are really rare. And so you just have to get lucky. However, there are some ways you can go about trying to be smart with it. And so you can get coins for free, as you probably know if you play this game a lot. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but what I find the best way to do it is so make sure you play every single day because you can get a ton of coins just from the daily versus rewards. And so that's really useful. That's one of the best ways I like to do it. But then another reason I like to play in Legacy, one, obviously, I just think it's more fun because sometimes the new cards get a little too crazy. I think it's more fun to play with the old cards. Sometimes I feel like you have to be more creative, but that's just me. It's just my opinion. It's fine if you disagree. But in Legacy decks, for some reason, I find that people concede much more often just because they have a certain strategy in mind, some people do. And so if they don't get the right setup, they'll just concede. And so sometimes if you're playing in Legacy, which is what I usually recommend to do, you just win because people just concede. And so you can get coins really, really quickly. And then you can just buy as many of that pack as you want. And it'll take a while, but eventually you'll get the shiny card you want. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm really working towards 1,000 subscribers, and if you guys all subscribe to my channel, I should be able to make it. But thank you guys for everything, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in that next video.